Um, just really appreciate you, Coach G. Uh, we're gonna miss you, and uh, I wish you the best in this next chapter of your life. So he, he ain't allowed to retire. I heard, I heard that's in his contract. So is he gone already? He already left? Now he's gonna ask him for some money. Hey, Coach G, just want to say happy retirement, and I always uh, respected you, loved having you here. I loved how you went and checked on the little sunshine, my daughter, when she was here at the uh, in the daycare, and I'll never forget that. Best of luck. It's your last day. It's your last day. Congratulations, Coach G. Hey, Coach G, I've gathered most of the Nablets here, and we just wanted to take a minute to tell you thank you so much to tell you how excited and happy we are for you and how much we sincerely adore and love you. I wanted to first thank you for all of your years of, of guardianship and love and devotion to my sweet sister, Peanut. Thank you so much. You meant the world to all of us. I wanna secondly thank you for your guidance, your leadership and your direction to both of my kids, Brandon and Brooke. You had a real influence on their entire high school career and I thank you so much for all that you've done for not just my kids, but all the kids in Haines City, Coach G. I'm wishing you the very best, and now's the time to go enjoy yourself. Hi, Coach G. I'm so excited for you. You can come join me someday, but um, I know you're going to have a great time. You're young and vibrant, exuberant and healthy, and I'm just so excited that you get to have this wonderful time in your life. I wanted to thank you for the great impact you had on all kids with your expectations, your leadership, your discipline. Um, we just need so much more of that. And I hope that someone can come in and fill your shoes and that the kids will appreciate it and honor it as they have with you. And again, I also want to thank you for the impact you had on my kids, Jeremy and Nikki, and especially for the love and partnership and guidance that you always protected Peanut with. And um, it's just so special in our hearts that you were always there for her. Love you and wish you the very, very best. Congratulations, Coach G. Um, I know you'll always be remembered for your infamous warm-ups. And I mean, my bones are starting to crink a little bit. <laughs> so we need some more of that. Um, I know that your days are gonna be filled with fishing and cleaning up the beaches. And I'm so excited you get to finally enjoy your days. And um, I know the high school's gonna miss you. And I know that we'll all miss you whenever we make our visits. I know that I'm gonna be sad that my future children won't have such a great influence like you. Um, and again, thank you so much for loving our family so much and especially loving our Aunt Peanut. I know that um, everything that you've you constantly guided her and made sure that she was had everything she needed. And um, I know that she just thought the world of you, and so do we. So congratulations. 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 We love you. The Nablets love you. <laughs> I'd like to say happy retirement to Mr. and Mrs. G as they ride off into the sunset together. I've just absolutely enjoyed my years working with both of you. For Miss G, I will say, you know, it's an old saying that they don't know, they don't care how much you know, but they definitely know how much you care or, or something to that effect. And Miss G, when I think about you, I just think about the absolute ultimate professional. Every time, you know, you and I have had to deal with kids and, and we've had some things that we really don't discuss a lot, but you've always come through and you always showed your love and your passion, not only for, for the profession, but also for the kids. So I just thank you for your total contribution to Haines City High School. Now with Coach G, it's, it's like the man, the myth, the legend. How, how do you even go into it in such a short amount of time? Coach G, I just know how many times I have come to you with kids who didn't have jackets, book bags, and all that other stuff over the course of the years of myself, you and a couple of people. And basically you was always there to provide the sponsoring. Coach, I never really told anybody about that. We never talked about it. But one thing I'll say about you, Coach, you have a huge heart. And I think sometimes some things may have not been misunderstood, may have been misunderstood. People may have not understood you, Coach. But Coach, I know that you did it from your heart. Man, there's no way 
that I can tell you how grateful I am for your contribution to Haines City High School, your contribution to your profession of education. Coach, I'm just going to give you a big what's up. I thank you, man, from the bottom of my heart. And I just wish you and your wife the very best. <laughs> what's up, Coach G? It's your little brother. Congratulations. We all love you out here in Hawaii. We miss you. Congratulations again. Man, oh man, what an accomplishment. But if you want to come win a couple of state championships out here with your little brother, come on. Get your nice little condo out here. Waikiki, baby. We got plenty of state championship rings to go around. All right. Love you, bro. Congratulations from your little bro. Miss you. Miss Coach G. Send my love to everybody. Hi, Coach and Linda. Um, I just wanted to tell you happy retirement. It was so great to know you all the years that I have had the opportunity to know you. And especially Linda being right next door. I miss you so very much. Uh, you were such a great person to have next door, a great friend. And I appreciate you always. And so happy retirement to both of you. Say congratulations, Coach G. I cannot believe you're retiring. I can remember the times when all three of my babies were in daycare and running the halls and they loved them some Coach G because you know that you'd always give them a couple dollars and candy. And um, now they're in 11th grade and the, the twins will be here next year. And I just cannot believe that time has went by. You're such a huge staple to this school and you will truly be missed. So congratulations. Uh -huh, uh -huh. A root to the retiring cues. I know that caught people off guard, but Coach G, many blessings on your retirement. You see the guy back here in this picture. My parents come make it to my senior night. Um, hard working parents who always had to work and Coach G stepped up to walk me during my senior night. Uh, many blessings. I know he's tough on the outside, but he really, really soft on the inside, y'all. I promise you. But uh, many congratulations on your retirement, boss, man. I really love you. Much retirement, coach. Throw the hooks up. Ah, root to the cues. Be out, Q. Set out a hop, too. Show the people that you can hop just a little bit. All right, G. Many blessings on your retirement, brother. Root. Ah. Congratulations, Coach G. Congratulations. Enjoy your retirement. We're really going to miss seeing you around, even though we're out of the state now. You know, we're still going to miss you. What about you? Congratulations. What do you thank him for? <laughs> thank you for all the treats. <laughs> yep. Over all the years since you were a baby, right? Mm-hmm. Coach G's been a big part of your life, all of our lives. We're really going to miss seeing you around. Thanks, Coach. <laughs> See you later. Hey, man, shout out to Coach G. I want to say I appreciate you, everything you taught me. Being a student of yours, being a player of yours, I learned a lot from you. A lot of stuff I'm going to carry on throughout my life. A lot of stuff I teach my children. A lot of the quotes that you said in that field that I cannot repeat. But hey, man, I love you, man. I remember being seven years old out there on the field running around. You'll stop me and make me do push-ups and give me $5, man. I just want to say I appreciate you. Thank you for your service, for everything you've given to our city, our community. Hey, man, you'll be missed. We love you, man. Congratulations, Coach. You've made it. Oh, wow. I've been at Haines City now for 17, 18 years, and I just remember you going just beyond Call of Duty to help the kids. No matter if they were your kids or somebody else's kids, I remember you having bananas in your car, trying to help feed the kids, uh, come by, uh, we need to pay for this, do this, just let me know. And your heart is just bigger than your bite, coach. Thank you. I know Haines City High School. Thank you. The community thanks you. We love you. Many blessings to you and Mrs. G. I can remember one time we had a student going around the track in the wheelchair. She was so motivated to make that mile. I had to take her out after all because she was tired. You wore her out. But she was trying to make it, make the mile. She couldn't do it. But Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I know this is an ending, but a beginning. And I do know you'll still help the kids because your heart, like I said, is bigger than your body. Many blessings. Thank you. Take care.
All right, Coach G, I'm going to go ahead and admit it was our class who started the whole Olin deal. We were, we were at practice one day. You won't remember this because you're already 90 years old. Um, Coach Axum, Moselle Axum, called you Olin. So it was me, Tracy Arnold, Peter Williams. All of us looked around like, well, who, who is Olin? Uh, Coach Axum? Oh, he said that's Coach G's first name. So uh, it was us who started telling everybody to call you Olin. So you might want to blame Coach Moselle Axum. Another thing you probably won't remember is uh, we, it was me, Tommy Thomas, we turned your truck sideways. It was about 15 of us. You never knew who did it. So now I can tell who did it. It was us, Olin G. Hey, it's been an honor and a pleasure to work with you, Coach. I'm going to miss you. Um, just enjoy your time off, man. See you. Uh, uh, congratulations, Coach G, on your retirement. <laughs> I'm going to talk about three stories about Coach G. So the first story, I was in ninth grade at this very same high school. Um, I was walking to class. I don't know what I said, you know, just being me, being a nice, not a nice, but a young ninth grader. Um, I said something, and Coach G thought I cursed. So he got me in trouble. You know, he told um, Mr. McDonald, or whatever, I got suspended for like a day. But I didn't curse. I just want you to know that, Coach G, I didn't curse. You probably don't remember that, but I didn't curse. But you did get me suspended. Well, Coach, you finally made it. It's been a long run. We had a lot of great times together, a lot of years coaching. I uh, appreciate you coaching with me and all the times with Tim and all the games we used to win, uh, all the good times we used to have. Hey, remember that time when uh, you pulled your pants down in front of Tim? And he said, damn, looks like old wasp nest up in there. Yeah, those were good times, but uh, I enjoyed it, man. I'm sorry to see you go, and and uh, it won't be the same around here without you. The nest will be quieter without you, but uh, hey, you got my number. Give me a call. Hey, Coach, it's me, what you call babers. <laughs> um, I just want to first say congratulations on your retirement. It's well-deserved. Um, I just remember, as first of all, as your student, um, I hated going to PE, of course, because Coach G was just so hard on us. Um, what you had us doing, um, running and exercising and all that stuff. I just dreaded going to PE. But it's crazy because now, um, being an adult, I use a lot of those techniques that you taught us while we were in school, while I was in school. Um, and while I do exercise in my living room, all I can hear in my brain, just like Miss Tellery said, is up, down, up, down, up, down. And so I just appreciate everything that you've um, taught me. Then transitioning over as your colleague was even more interesting because you just were so genuine. Um, as a person and it's hard to come by genuine people um, in this world and in this life and it's going to be sad to see you go but I know that you're going to you ain't gonna sit down I know you're not gonna sit down. <laughs> no telling what you're going to do but that you have that freedom and that liberty to do and chase your other dreams um, you're truly going to be missed here um, I just want to say thank you for all the good advice that you've given me sitting out there um, as a substitute, subbing, you know, for your class, subbing for other teachers' classes, and just sitting out, just talking to you about life and just the knowledge and everything that you've given to me. I'm going to take that with me um, for the rest of my life. So, again, thank you. Congratulations to you and Mrs. G. I hope you guys have an amazing retirement, and I know I'll bump into you in Walmart or something somewhere around here, <laughs> around here one day. All right, Coach. Bye. So Coach G, uh, we're gonna miss you. We're having a campfire meeting here, and this is your seat. You're always welcome to come to it because it's gonna sit empty without you. So we're gonna miss you. You always say that you're um, not excited about retiring, but I think you'll enjoy it. I know I would enjoy it, so enjoy it. And uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna miss you and you'll be missed. All right, Coach G, we just wanted to have the, the ducks here to be with me when we get to say have a great retirement we're going to miss you it's not going to be the same without you around bye coach g bye coach g have a good retirement have a good retirement and